I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Markets will be closed on Monday in observance of the Labor Day holiday. The UK-based mental health company known for its psychedelic treatments, Compass Pathways, filed to go public this week. They said they plan to list their American depository shares on the NASDAQ under the ticker CMPS. They did report total net losses of $24.8 million for the six months ending in June. So far, they've raised $116 million. Their largest shareholder is Atai Life Sciences, which owns 29% of the stock. CLS Holdings reported that its fiscal year in 2020 total revenues were $11.9 million, but they also delivered a net loss of $30 million, and that's versus last year's net loss of $27 million. Forefront Ventures reported revenue of $12.7 million in the second quarter. Now that's versus $2.5 million for the same time period last year, so pretty good movement there. They also said that they achieved positive operating cash flow in the month of August, and they expect positive adjusted EBITDA starting in the third quarter of 2020. Navis Holdings reported retail revenue for the quarter ending in June of $3.9 million. Unfortunately, they also said they are a going concern. They disclosed that they have incurred losses and have had negative cash flows from operations since inception. The company also said it would not be able to make one of its mortgage payments and they didn't make an interest payment on a convertible debenture. And finally, Advisor Shares has launched the Advisor Shares Pure U.S. Cannabis ETF, which will begin trading this Wednesday, began trading this past Wednesday. Using the ticker MSOS, they become the first U.S. listed active ETF to deliver exposure dedicated solely to American cannabis companies, including multi-state operators or MSOs. See what they did there? I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report. Everyone have a great Labor Day holiday.